After having seen all of that, have you thought through what you think they might actually be doing? Uh, in yeah, I mean, that, 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 that's a big question because you have these three cameras that are up front that have completely different um, field of views. And then from those field of views, can you blend that together to create the, the stereo image that you would want that we're used to having by just right. having basically two cameras mounted with a certain amount of separation. So certainly with the three cameras, they do have a certain separation, right. but getting the calibration of that's right. And that's also something else they go in a lot of detail in there of calibration okay. and, and understanding that manufacturing uh, imperfections from one to another where it means that you need to have some way to be able to go and calibrate the, the the camera references from one to another and to different embodiments that might be of different size. I mean, it's it's really interesting going through to seeing what they're thinking about either ahead of time or they are just laying it all out in the patent because sometimes that's what you got to do. Right. Is that you have to be kind of vague so they don't really know what's going on, but you need to have enough specificity in there that someone can't challenge you or claim that that that's there so it's, it's this weird dance you know that goes on in patents yeah. of you know revealing it's it's like a burlesque right you know you just show what you need to show and that's it uh so the it's it, it does seem interesting you you would think they 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 do that but if you look at some of the other um bots out there and look at their camera suites also they almost look similar like they have the three in there so it's almost like they're all buying it from the same vendor over in uh, in Korea or China, like, you know, because everyone's put the same thing in their windshields for all, you know, uh -huh. 4G. And they have almost what seems like the same kind of uh, camera suites up there because they're probably all thinking the same thing. It's like, oh, we need a you know, wide field of view. And, you yeah. know. So um, it's, it's interesting and, and why. And I guess the reason they went down that route, as opposed to completely mimicking the way it is done for human is because they already have the stuff working in the car. Yeah. And, and the idea is not to to um, deviate too much from it, to be able to leverage as much as possible. And they'll probably go down that. And if they find that that was like the wrong way to do it, then they would redo it. But right now they probably see that there's no reason why it shouldn't work because, you know, their robots on wheels are able to navigate the world perfectly fine at 70 miles per hour. Yeah. So certainly it should be able to work for a smaller bot that's, you know, only going two to three miles per hour.